see this video carefully. Here, the firefighter is using a red jar filled with a gas in order to extinguish the fire. See? So what kind of gas is present in this red jar? Well, this gas is nothing but carbon dioxide gas. So this red jar is known as a fire extinguisher and the gas which is present in the fire extinguishers is carbon dioxide gas. So remember from the physical property of carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide is neither combustible nor does it support combustion. This is the reason why carbon dioxide is used for putting off fire. Carbon dioxide has other uses as well. Carbon dioxide can be liquefied under very cold temperature and high pressure. Now when this liquid carbon dioxide is further cooled, a solid carbon dioxide is formed. Now at minus 78 degrees Celsius, solid carbon dioxide is formed. This solid carbon dioxide is known as dry ice. So this solid mass that you see here is nothing but dry ice or solid carbon dioxide. Due to the very cold temperature, dry ice or solid carbon dioxide is used to keep foods fresh and other perishable items cold. Thus it is used as a refrigerant. Now do you love to eat breads and puff pastries? Do you know how they are made? Well, there is some ingredient used in baking which makes the bread and the pastries fluff up and so soft. See, during the baking process, the puff pastries rise up, they become double their size. So what is the special ingredient which is used in making these items? Well, in baking process, baking powder and baking soda is used. So is baking powder and baking soda the same thing? Well, no. Both these items are made using carbon dioxide in the laboratory. Baking soda contains sodium bicarbonate and baking powder contains sodium bicarbonate along with potassium hydrogen tartrate. So baking powder, you see, contains a base that is sodium bicarbonate and it contains an acid that is potassium hydrogen tartrate. So for ideal baking purpose, baking powder is used. Because in baking powder, the base and the acid react to give out carbon dioxide gas. It is this carbon dioxide gas which is evolved from the dough and this makes the puff pastries, cakes and breads so soft and sponge-like. Now another very common item used in our daily life, the detergent, used to wash our clothes. Now do you know that detergent is also made using carbon dioxide gas? Well, detergent like washing soda and washing powder is made using carbon dioxide gas. Well, in the laboratory, washing soda is made and it is chemically known as sodium carbonate. Similarly, washing powder contains washing soda, that is sodium carbonate, and along with that, powdered soap and other chemical is mixed in order to prepare washing powder. So in the laboratory, how is washing soda made? Well, the process is known as Solvay's process. By Solvay's process, carbon dioxide is reacted with two chemicals, one sodium chloride and another ammonia. So carbon dioxide reacts with sodium chloride and ammonia in the presence of water to form washing soda, which is chemically known as sodium carbonate. This washing soda is very helpful for softening hard water and this helps us in washing of clothes. But if you have very dirty clothes which are difficult to wash with only washing soda, in that case, washing powder is used which contains powdered soap and other chemicals. Now whenever you open up the bottle of a soda can, why do you see fizz coming out? Well, the fizz is nothing but carbon dioxide gas. 
because in the soda water or cola water, carbon dioxide is mixed with water under very high pressure. So whenever you open up the lid, the pressure is released out and you get fizz in the form of carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is used in aerated drinks. Now not only in the laboratory for preparing many chemical items, but carbon dioxide is also used in nature. Green plants and trees require carbon dioxide in order to survive. What they do? They take up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere along with water, sunlight and a very special pigment present in the green plants. They prepare their food, which is known as carbohydrate and also they release oxygen. So this entire process of absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and preparing food is known as photosynthesis. So green plants utilize CO2 to carry out photosynthesis. So carbon dioxide is absorbed from the atmosphere by green plants and oxygen is released into the atmosphere. It is this oxygen which helps in the respiration of all living beings. The carbon dioxide requirement of green plants can also be replenished by using fertilizers. Fertilizers are chemical compounds which when sprayed onto plants replenish the nutrient requirement. So carbon dioxide is used to prepare fertilizers and this one of the example of carbon dioxide used in making fertilizer is urea. So this urea when sprayed onto plants, release carbon dioxide and help them use it to make their food. You know that carbon dioxide is an excretory gas. That is when we exhale out, we are exhaling air that is rich in carbon dioxide. But in critical condition in the hospital, carbon dioxide is also used for artificial respiration. How is that possible? Well, carbon dioxide is mixed with oxygen in a very specific proportion which is known as carbogen. So this carbogen contains 70% of oxygen and 30% carbon dioxide. In this proportion when given to very critical patients having respiratory problems they can survive and this is known as artificial respiration. So carbon dioxide is a very important gas for all of us. Carbon dioxide is used in the, in the laboratory or in the industry to prepare many chemical items. So carbon dioxide is used in fire ex extinguishers to put off fire. It is also used to manufacture dry ice, which is used as a refrigerant to keep the foods and perishable items fresh. Now carbon dioxide is very important in baking industry because carbon dioxide is used for making baking powder and baking soda. Similarly, carbon dioxide is also used for making washing powder and washing soda, which are very important in washing clothes in the laundry. Also, carbon dioxide is used in aerated drinks and carbon dioxide is released in the form of fizz whenever you open up the bottle of an aerated drink. Now, carbon dioxide is also used for making fertilizers. Fertilizers give better yield of plant. And also carbon dioxide is used to manufacture a very important item called carbogen which is used for artificial respiration. Now carbon dioxide in its natural form in the atmosphere is used by plants to prepare their food by a process called photosynthesis.